Welcome to another episode of Let's Jibber Jabber. My name is Ben, but I also go by Dagon, he who knows 1000 things. Today's topic, the future tech of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. More specifically, this video will highlight the most likely ways people will abuse this so-called future tech. Exhibit A, the mobile barricade. Do you enjoy camping? How about the occasional jog? Well, with the mobile barricade you can do just about both. Gone are the days when shields simply created barriers. Sledgehammer is proud to present the world's first thinking shield. The mobile barricade does it all. Don't believe me? Check out this testimonial. The mobile barricade is amazing. It moves like a dream. I call mine Sally. She's my metal friend. She shields me when I'm exposed to the elements. She's perfect for camping on the go. Well, you heard the man. Next up, the exosuit. Designed to get you from point A to B. C, D, E, F, and G. The exosuit marks the extinction of the standard two-dimensional FPS format. The built-in jetpack will make you immune to gravity. With the sticky gloves, you'll find all sorts of hidey holes. But won't this make Call of Duty more like Halo 4 or Titanfall, you ask? No, says one developer. Previous installments of the Call of Duty series were designed to be perfect, where everyone was happy. They were a disaster. No one would accept the programming. We're here to add a new dimension. The ideas of Infinity Ward and Treyarch are now obsolete. Like the dinosaur, they've had their time. Now it's our time. But isn't some of this tech, like the 3D printer gun, theoretically impossible? Not impossible. It is inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a little scared. Moving on. Third prediction pertains to the plasma weapons. Meet the illegitimate love child of the Halo Carbine and Titanfall's very own Spartan Liaiser 2.0. Fashioned after the United States' very own personal halting and stimulation response rifle, coincidentally abbreviated to the Phaser, the plasma rifle will allow you to inflict third degree burns in no time. Oh, but do we really need lasers in Call of Duty games? One advocate had this to say Of course! It is a member of my precious armory, gratefully accepted as the instrument with no ammo limitation. Oh yes, spoils will be had, but blood won't be shed, for it will reduce men to ashes. Okay, that, that was terrifying and poetic. Thank you for that. Not sure if I want to poop my pants or applaud you, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Now, I'm a little conflicted because I know Sledgehammer has a huge amount of pressure to create something unique, but at the same time, I'm hoping they keep it familiar. I also don't think the developers are aware of the depths that people will go to get kills in this game. So, I'd like to pose this question to you guys. If you think Future Tech is a bad idea, what do you think they should have done instead? Leave your jibba-jabba below.